Hi friends, today's topic is Bresenhan's line drawing algorithm. So let's line drawing algorithm. Consider two end points of a line x1, y1, x2, y2. To draw a line between these two end points, we have to identify the intermediate points among these two end points. So our concept is to identify these intermediate points, we are using this Bresenhan's line drawing algorithm. And for example, if the first point is xk, yk. So before going to first point, we are checking for each line drawing algorithm, we are calculating slope. So slope has three possible cases. Either slope value is less than 1, slope value is greater than 1, slope value is equal to 1. <coughs> so in our case, first to consider slope value is less than 1. <coughs> slope less than 1 means that is unit x intervals unit x intervals means each time x value that is x coordinate value is incremented by 1 and we need to find the y coordinate for example if first point is x k y k and next coordinate is x k plus 1 comma y k plus 1 and x k plus 1 is fixed that is previous value is x k and next x coordinate is previous value plus 1 and we have to find y coordinate y coordinate is either previous y coordinate y k or next coordinate y k plus 1 these are the two possible cases in these two cases, we have to find y coordinate, whether slope value is less than 1. Similarly, if slope greater than 1, y coordinate is unit incremented and we need to find x coordinate. Now, for this case, suppose this is the diagram. For example, this is xk, this is xk plus 1, unit x interval, suppose xk by unit x interval that is x k plus 1 and assume this one as y k and this one as y k plus 1 this intermediate as y first current the point is x k y k suppose this is our first point next to x coordinate is x k plus 1 so there is no y coordinate so assume for y coordinate is either y k or y k plus 1 or any intermediate point. Consider this difference as D1 and this difference as D2. Here in this case, what is the meaning of Y? Y is equal to Mx plus B. <coughs> For coordinate X comma Y, the slope intercept line equation is Y is equal to Mx plus B. But in this case, we are calculating Y for this x coordinate so y value becomes y is equal to m into xk plus 1 to b so calculate d1 value d1 is equal to y minus yk so d1 is equal to y minus yk that means this is the y value substitute y value m into xk plus 1 plus b minus yk d2 is equal to yk plus 1 minus y yk plus 1 minus y so yk plus 1 this is y value minus m into xk plus 1 minus b this is d1 and d2 now our step is calculate decision parameter the purpose of decision parameter is to identify the next coordinate. So, which y coordinate is to be selected? That is identified by using decision parameter. Decision parameter is delta x into d1 minus d2. <coughs> delta x into d1 minus d2. So, that means delta x into d1. m into xk plus m plus b minus yk minus d2 minus yk 
minus 1 plus m into xk plus m plus d. This is d1 minus d2. Observe any common terms delta x mxk plus mxk 2mxk plus these two are completed m and m plus 2m b b plus 2b yk yk minus 2yk minus 1 <coughs> all the terms are completed now here what is m value m is the slope of the line another formula is slope of the line is y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 that is delta y by delta x so here m is replaced with delta y by delta x suppose delta x 2 into delta y by delta x into xk plus 2 into delta y by delta x plus 2b minus 2yk minus 1 so multiply with delta x 2 delta y xk plus 2 delta y plus 2b delta x minus 2 delta x y k minus delta x <coughs> so finally decision parameter p k is equal to 2 delta y x k minus 2 delta x y k plus 2 delta y plus 2b minus 1 into delta x take common on these both terms so no problem assume this is a constant each term doesn't contains any x coordinate and y coordinate this contains x coordinate this contains y coordinate it does not contains any x and y coordinate so finally pk is equal to 2 delta y x k minus 2 delta x y k plus some constant c so this is the decision parameter after calculating this decision parameter calculate p k plus 1 here p k plus 1 value is p k plus 1 is equal to 2 delta y x k plus 1 minus 2 delta x y k plus 1 plus c simply k is replaced with k plus 1 <coughs> now now perform p k plus 1 minus p k 2 delta y 2 delta y x k plus 1 minus 2 delta x y k plus 1 plus c minus <coughs> 2 delta y x k plus 2 delta x y k minus c <coughs> identify any counters 2 delta y x k plus 1 whenever x k plus 1 appears that is next to x coordinate next to x coordinate is always fixed that is 2 delta y x k plus 1 value means x k plus 1 minus 2 delta x <coughs> y k plus 1 we don't know the next to y coordinate so simply written as y k plus 1 and this c and this c are cancelled minus 2 delta y x k plus 2 delta x y k so p k plus 1 is equal to p k 2 delta y x k minus 2 delta y x k both terms are cancelled and finally this is 2 delta y minus 2 delta x y k plus 1 plus 2 delta x y k so here take 2 delta x as a common term p k plus 2 delta y minus 2 delta x y k plus 1 minus y k this is p k plus 1 
pk plus 1 is equal to pk plus 2 delta y minus 2 delta x into yk plus 1 minus yk. Now, <coughs> based on this point, that is based on this pk plus 1 point, we are identifying the next decision parameter. Now, our step is calculate initial decision parameter. Initial decision parameter. So, initial decision parameter is represented as PK. So, PK is equal to formula is 2 delta y x k minus 2 delta x y k plus c. So, 2 delta y x k minus 2 delta x y k plus c. Here the value of c is so delta x into 2b minus 1 plus 2 delta y. This is the value of c. So, here what is the b value? What is b value? We already know y is equal to mx plus b. That means b is equal to y minus mx. Substitute the value 2 delta y x k minus 2 delta x y k plus delta x into 2. b is replaced with y minus mx. Plus 2 delta y. So, perform simple mathematical calculations. 2 delta xy minus 2 m. <coughs> we already know m is equal to delta y by delta x. So, delta x into m is delta y. So, 2 into delta y into x minus delta x plus 2 delta y. This means the answer. At initial, this is initial decision parameter. Initial decision parameter is initially x value and y value is either 0, 0 or both x, k, y, k and x and y are both same. That is x, k, y, k is replaced with x and y. That is 2 delta y x minus 2 delta x y plus 2 delta x y minus 2 delta delta x plus 2 delta y. So, 2 delta y x and 2 delta y x both terms are cancelled. 2 delta x, 2 delta x y terms are cancelled. And finally, initial decision parameter is pk is equal to 2 delta y minus delta x. <coughs> this is initial decision parameter. Now, finally, reach to our last point. After calculating decision parameter, if the decision parameter pk value is either less than 0 or pk value is either greater than or equal to 0, these are the two possible cases. First, if pk value is less than 0, our next coordinate is xk plus 1 comma yk. It is greater than or equal to 0, next coordinate is xk plus 1 comma yk plus 1. These are the next two coordinates. Suppose after finding one coordinate, we have to identify the next two coordinate based on this point decision parameter. That means we are calculating pk plus 1 is equal to pk plus 2 delta y <coughs> minus 2 delta x into yk plus 1 yk plus 1 means next to y coordinate. Here next to y coordinate is yk. That means yk minus yk. Simply pk plus 2 delta y. This is the answer. And for this pk plus 1 is equal to pk plus 2 delta y minus 2 delta x into next to y coordinate is yk plus 1. yk plus 1 minus yk. So, pk plus 2 delta y, these two y terms are cancelled, simply minus 2 delta x. This is the answer. Up, we are up to now, we are calculating for slope value is less than 1. Suppose, 
if slope value is greater than 1 again we no need to calculate the entire procedure slope value is greater than 1 the two possible points are xk comma yk plus 1 xk plus 1 comma yk plus 1 each time y value is incremented by 1 and we need to find x coordinate after calculating this is for slope value is greater than 1 <coughs> after calculating entire procedure simply interchange delta x and delta y terms we are getting the final answer that means in this case p naught is equal to 2 delta x minus delta y so in this case p naught is equal to 2 delta x minus delta y in this case Suppose pk less than 0, <coughs> pk less than 0, slope greater than 1, pk plus 1 is equal to pk plus 2 delta x. In this case, slope greater than 1, pk plus 1 is equal to pk plus 2 delta x minus 2 delta y. Simply interchange delta x and delta y terms. Now consider an example.